Today's synchronicity story is associated with the numbers, 333. In Valerie's last video, we talked about how angels' numbers can mean something very personal to the individual seeing them. If you research what those numbers mean, you will pull up all sorts of descriptions. Depending on what site you go to for the information, it can be very confusing. So what do they all mean, if anything? Welcome back, everyone. There are several meanings you can select to choose for the meaning of 333. However, for the purpose of synchronicity video story number 3 in this series, and for many, seeing 333 often means to prepare for uplifting opportunities and to remain optimistic and determined. 333 for three best friends. Elvis and Ed Sullivan. Well, Ed Sullivan wasn't really there. You see, Ed Sullivan had been in a terrible car accident and couldn't be there that night. Quite frankly, I don't think anyone missed dear old Ed. Sixty million people had gathered around their television sets that night. Talk about going viral. We went viral, for sure. Now, there's not many times in history where you will get something that goes that big at one time. I mean, even today, by today's standards, that many clicks. For example, HBO aired uh, House of the Dragon. 9.9 .9 million people all landed there, and the streaming service crashed. Can you imagine? In 1956, what 60 million people did to broadcast television, old-fashioned, black and white. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't crash anything. Everybody got to see it. That just gives you a little bit of an idea. What happens when that many people get together to watch something? Well, back in the day, black and white service broadcasting you could still, you know, get and see something. But can you just imagine the human vibration of screaming, especially screaming teenage girls, screaming for Elvis? Can you imagine what... But, but I want to just point this out. I was there too. I was there in utero. And can you imagine what that does to the collective consciousness? If you are in utero and you haven't even made it to planet Earth, can you imagine what that does to the vibration of the human consciousness when everybody's feeling that music? The beat, the beat, well, made quite an impression on me. For you see, the rest of my life, music, dancing, it's all been part of my life. That's right. So... I really do believe that Carl Jung, with synchronicities, collective consciousness, was truly on to something. And that started my life back in, back in Lawton, Oklahoma. From there, you see, Harriet had never told her best friends that she was pregnant with me. She left a week later, right after uh, Elvis made his debut. And I do believe that Harrietta probably always loved Elvis. I'm not sure. I never asked my sister Annie if she had a thing for Elvis after that. <laughs> Maybe she did. But I do know this as it relates to Elvis. Here's kind of another pace to that. Of course, after Harrietta had me a few months later in uh, Pueblo, Colorado, we both end up in California, as I said in a previous video. Our paths would get pretty close together again in 1973 when she would marry for a second time after she had had all of the rest of her children. This is what's kind of strange. Well, you see Elvis was playing at the, <clears throat> the Las Vegas Hilton International. That was kind of Elvis's home base. Well, Valerie would get remarried for a second time in None other than Las Vegas, Nevada. Guess who was in Las Vegas, Nevada in 1973 within months of her. I mean like within a month, within maybe weeks of her being there to get remarried. 
none other than this Valerie. Isn't that weird? I was there to see none other than Anne, Anne, Annie, Margaret. I know. Anne, and I'm telling this story to my sister Annie, and I was there to see Anne Margaret because a guest dance teacher that was a really good friend of my mom and me when she he had stayed at the uh, travel lodge that my mom managed in Greenville, South Carolina, he was performing uh, with Anne Margaret as one of her dancers, and he wanted to see me and my mom, and so he got special tickets, we got special seats, we went to see Anne Margaret, it was fabulous by the way but none other than and so it could have been within weeks because she got married December 30th 1973 but isn't that weird that's another synchronicity I just thought that was kind of strange anyway I digress but these three girls uh, they they uh, sang and danced and influenced me and so my whole life, I, life I've sang and danced in every job I've ever done so I'd like to say, think that Elvis and Margaret all of those guys influenced me and I've uh, done singing and dancing my whole life except let me interject one little thing I did get a little confused by the nuns those first four four weeks of my life I was really heavily influenced by those nuns because you want to know something really weird because I was raised in the Catholic Church <laughs> I wanted to be a nun now, I'm not kidding you there was a long time I was like I think I'll become a nun when I grow up. And then I went to things like the singing nun. I kid you not. I I started this nonprofit organizations for teens. And I remember we went to this retreat with a bunch of brothers, Catholic brothers. That's a whole nother Oprah. I'll save that for another video. But I was singing music from the singing nun with all of these really cool teens. I I think they thought I was crazy. I remember thinking Val was crazy when we first started. <laughs> They were like, where did you get this music, Val? This is really weird. I'll show you part of the video. Just stand by. I'll, I'll, I'll put a clip in here. It's just too weird. They thought, Val, oh my, oh my God, Val, what's wrong with you? Uh. <laughs> but it was the influence of those nuns the first four weeks of my life before I got adopted. <laughs> was the singing nun with Debbie Reynolds. Look it up. It's too hysterical. I wanted to be a nun, but I've been married for 48 years. I never became a nun, but I thought I was going to be a nun. I was totally confused. See, I'm telling you, when you're a baby or an infant, you can get really confused. Had a very confused <laughs> Anyway, I digress. But back to this story. Those three girls, they were silly, goofy, funny, which is why I think my humor is the way I was because I was in utero. Elvis, those three teen girls, this is why I am the way I am, is those teen girls did this to me. Then they threw me to the nuns. Then they yanked me back out. I end up with the farmers. No wonder I'm all confused. I have not know what I'm going to do with my life. Well, anyway, thanks for listening, you guys. Next video, we're off to the Sanderson family. No, not them. The other Sanderson family. <laughs> 333.